Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, Israel strikes targets near Damascus airport, allegedly. Um, this gets a bit confusing, but uh, we'll get right into it. Uh, scripture references out of Isaiah 17, verse 1. The oracle concerning Damascus. Behold, Damascus is about to be removed from being a city and will become a fallen ruin. Also, Jeremiah 49, verse 27, And I will kindle a fire in the wall of Damascus, and it shall devour the strongholds of Ben-Hadad. Now, I think we need to pay very close attention to what's being said here. Israel recently destroyed Iranian targets west of Damascus. Satellite images from ImageSat International have been posted. Uh, now, the attack appears to have occurred from near or over Lebanese airspace. And I have a link provided to ImageSatInternational.com. You want to check that out. I also have their recent Twitter feed. Uh, and fresh from the image sat international oven, an image took from our satellite a few minutes ago reveals four bomb craters in a military vehicle parking lot within the 4th Division camp west to Damascus. So there you can see one, two, three, four, four bomb craters in a military parking lot. Assesses that most of the vehicles are destroyed. <laughs> And this is located 1.6 kilometers west to the attacked storehouse, which we'll scroll down and we'll get a picture of that. Um, this has happened on Christmas Day. Syrian 4th Division camp is completely destroyed. According to media reports, it was an Iranian FAJR-5 rocket storehouse located in an Iranian base, only 40 kilometers from the border of Israel. So again, Iranian base in the fourth division camp, West Damascus. This is a storehouse is completely destroyed. According to a media reports, the attack site was the Iranian Fajr or Fahar five rocket storehouse in an Iranian base, which is located within the Syrian fourth division camp. Again, West of Damascus. Um, and, you know, like we'd read from the pictures, the storehouse is no more. Uh, now, what gets interesting is then they also say satellite images indicated the Damascus International Airport was not hit and did not sustain damage. And so let's go to Google Maps here. Okay, so the Damascus International Airport is east, south, and east of downtown Damascus. Here's downtown Damascus. Let's go to the south and east. And their imagery is saying Damascus International Airport was not hit. Well, yeah, that's probably true because all the damage took place west of Damascus. And this little area right here where the red circle is has been hit several times. And guess what? It's a military airport. Now, my guess is this is where all the action took place. I can't confirm this, but it's speculation on my point, on my part. And this place has been hit before. Now, do what you want with it. Do your own homework. Also of note, uh, just north of this airport um, is located um, Assad's Palace. Here's Assad's Palace to the north. Here's this uh, military airport down here just to the south, and then here's downtown Damascus. And so again, they say, oh, nothing happened at the international airport. Well, no. It's, uh, <laughs> it's out here to the east of downtown Damascus International Airport. Over here, military airport, which has been struck many times before, up here, Assad's Palace. So... Interesting stuff. Do what you want with it. Do your own homework. Dig into it a little bit. Find out what you want to find out. Um, now, the Russians, for their part, Russian Defense Ministry spokesman Major General Igor Konashenkov stated the Syrian Air Defense Forces shot down 14 of the 16 Israel-guided bombs. So, 
I guess only two got through. Looks like at least four got through. We had four potholes out there in the parking lot. Uh, Russia stated they were, quote, very concerned and called the actions, quote, provocative. They're not happy. Talking down to Israel, Netanyahu, for his part, says, hey, we're going to defend our country and we are not allowing Iran to get a stronghold in Syria. He said that repeatedly. That's probably not changing. Now, if you want to check out more information, check out timesofisrael.com. Photos said to show Iranian warehouse flattened by Israeli strike in Syria. Also, bbc.com, news, world, Middle East, a uh, link provided for this as well. If you're interested in these stories, uh, click over here on the blue box. You can type in your email address, receive an email every time a post is put out. Also, you can scroll down in the far right column of the uh, of the website here, and this is going to be categorized under Burden of Damascus, probably also under Ezekiel 38 and 39. You know, we got <clears throat> the Russians, Iranians involved, and they continue to pour resources into Syria, leading into what is likely to be uh, the Ezekiel 38, 39 scenario with an invasion of Israel from the north in the Golan Mountains per Ezekiel. Also may have to do when Damascus gets theirs per Damascus 17 one in Jeremiah 49, which we covered at the beginning. So interesting times. Keep watching. Um, just another piece of the puzzle. These things keep happening over and over. More resources get poured into this area day by day. Appreciate you guys following along. Take care. Have a great day.